Babes Coffee here and now we're taking the time to answer one of the most common questions na nakikita namin sa YouTube channel which is yung Flare Pro 2 ba ideal gamitin for business. So later on sasagutin namin yan. Our quick answer to this is yes, pero we will also share with you some of the details that you need to consider before buying your Flare Pro 2 for your coffee shop, pop-up or any kind of business that you plan to do. After a brief withdrawal ng coffee consumption last year, yung mga analysts ng prediction naman is pataas na siya ulit. Which is a good opportunity for you to start your business. And studies have shown multiple times na ang Filipinos would normally consume around 3 kilograms of coffee every year. Sa panahon ngayon, karamihan sa mga coffee shops, nag-adapt na talaga. Because sobrang unpredictable kung kailan magkakaroon ng lockdown, kailan mababalik sa normal. So nakikita rin natin dito yung capabilities ng mga Filipinos, especially the coffee shop owners. Yung mga established na coffee shops, nag-focus talaga sila sa pag-serve ng market nila through online transactions. And then makikita nyo rin yung mga pop-ups. Normally, social media magpo-post sila kung saan sila pepuesto and nakakapag-attract din sila ng customers or clients to visit yung mga pop-up na stores. And then, may mga makikita na rin kayo ngayon na mga home brewers na nag-offer din ng services nila. So ang dami na nating options as consumers where to order. Yes, sinabi ko kanina na pwedeng gamitin niyo Flare Pro 2 for your business, pero let's be very specific. Anong type of business ba natin siya pwedeng gamitin? Yung mga nagtatanong sa akin, normally kasi nagpo-fall sila sa tatlong types ng businesses na gusto nilang i-put up. Yung una, small coffee shop sa neighborhood nila. Yung pangalawa naman is pop-up or cart. And then lastly, meron din mga nagtatanong for the purpose of serving coffee at home and then i-deliver na lang sa mga customers nila. So doon tayo magpo-focus sa tatlong types of businesses na yon for today. If mapapansin nyo, madami nang nagtatayo ng ganong types of coffee business. And malaki yung advantage niya, especially if nagsistart ka pa lang. So yung unang-unang reason is medyo mababa lang yung investment na kailangan mo to start your own business. Then next naman is, if wala ka namang physical store, of course, makakapag-follow ka din ng mga protocols na require ng government. And then lastly, uh, alam naman nating lahat ang daming naapektuhan ng pandemic. So additional revenue stream din to, outside of your primary source of income. Or if naapektuhan ka nga, then pwedeng maging ito yung main source mo ng livelihood. Uh, especially if naghahanap ka pa ng alternative na work. Pwede bang gamitin yung Flare Pro 2 for your business? This is worth 16,500 pesos. Pero, I think ang mas maganda na tanong is, ano ba yung mga factors na dapat yung i-consider before kayo bumili ng coffee equipment for your upcoming na venture? Personally, if ako yung magtatanong if pwede ba yung Flare Pro 2 para sa business ko, I will ask myself four questions muna. Number one, ano ba yung budget ko? Ano ba yung willing akong mawala for this particular business? Next naman is, you also need to determine ano ba yung kind of business ang gagawin mo. Is it pop-up? Is it a small neighborhood coffee shop? Is it a home delivery service? Kasi remember, may mga limitations nitong Flare Pro 2 which later on we will discuss. And then next naman, ano yung menu mo? Ano yung isa-serve mo sa mga customers? And then lastly, ano ba yung expect mo na volume ng customers and ano yung maximum capacity mo to serve per day? Mag-start muna tayo do sa advantages ng Flare Pro 2. And number one na reason for me kung bakit ko to i-consider is because wala siyang electricity required and wala na rin siyang halos maintenance requirement aside from general cleaning. So yun yung una. And then next naman is yung quality ng espresso shots that you can pull out of this machine is similar sa mga commercial machines na nakikita mo sa mga coffee shops na binibisita mo. So if yun ang priority mo, quality, then you will never go wrong with yung Flare Pro 2. And then yung last naman na consideration ko is yung fact na ang liit lang ng counter space requirement nito. So kahit sa bahay ka, pop-up coffee shop or a, a small space for your neighborhood coffee shop, then you have other room to put yung mga iba pang equipments na gagamitin nyo. Pero, madaming disadvantages yung Flare Pro 2, lalo na for business. For personal use, okay siya. Wala ako masabi. Pero for business, especially if gusto mong mabilis yung workflow mo, for me, yun yung number one na disadvantage nito. Pulling two shots of coffee will take around 8 to 10 minutes. So can you imagine, yung customers yung naghihintay, hindi ka masyado makapag makikipag-usap din sa kanila kasi kailangan mong very focus ka. So, ang tagal ng waiting time, lalo na kung customer ako. Yung isa pa is marami siyang hot components na kailangan mong hawakan. Unlike sa usual mo na porta filter, ito, di ba? Meron kang handle eh. 
dito, ang dami mong kailangan hawakan na hot components. So kahit meron kang rubber gloves, chances are mapapasok ka talaga and makaka-affect yun sa workflow mo. Depending dun sa menu mo, magdadagdag ka din ng other items which will increase your budget. So kailangan mo ng grinder, kung kailangan mo mag-steam ng milk, tataas na tataas yung cost mo depending dun sa kind of menu na ibibuild mo. Meron pa pala, yung consistency ng shots, very important, lalo na sa customers nyo, di ba? Pero sa Flare Pro 2, ang napansin ko, konting mali lang, mag-iiba na yung output mo. So you need to be very focused pag nagpo-pull ka ng shots. So konting mali lang sa pressure, konting mali lang sa pag-prepare mo ng pack mo, totally nag-iiba yung output. Kung decided ka na talaga na Flare Pro 2 yung gagamitin mo for your business, may mga things ka naman na pwedeng gawin eh, para mapabilis yung workflow mo and para hindi na maghintay masyado yung customers. So pwede kang bumili ng additional na brew head tsaka porta filter para makapag back-to-back -back shots ka. So yan. And then, pwede ka rin bumili ng dedicated na kettle to keep this warm. So, it means na hindi mo na kailangan palaging maghintay ng 3 to 5 minutes para painitin to. Hindi talaga para sa lahat ng types ng coffee shop business yung Flare Pro 2. Pero, ire-recommend namin siya sa mga home delivery services kasi you can easily set customer expectations when exactly they could have it delivered or picked up para hindi sila maghintay ng matagal. Pwede rin naman siya sa small neighborhood coffee shop na low yung traffic, low din yung volume, and then eventually, once you're gaining traction, you can easily upgrade to a semi-automatic machine. Then always remember, your menu plays a huge part in the decision-making process. If ang i-offer mo kung wari is cafe latte, cappuccino, kailangan mo rin i-consider yung pagbili mo ng frother or ng pag-steam mo ng milk. So, Flare Pro 2 is okay. Quality-wise, you'll never go wrong with it as we've shared kanina. But at the expense of yung time, and ng customer experience. Sobrang exciting ng coffee scene here in the Philippines. Ang dami ng small businesses na nag offer ng quality coffee. So please, try it out yung mga small businesses near your area. I hope nakatulong and nasagot namin lahat ng mga tanong nyo. And of course, hindi naman natin lahat cover in a 5-minute video. So feel free to comment down below and we will try our best to answer all of the other questions that you have.